Hazard Pay is back on, baby. Hazard Pay is in the third stimulus package bill, which we may see as early as Monday or Tuesday. Hazard Pay for frontline workers, essential workers who work during the pandemic. Public sector, private sector, both in the Joe Biden $1.9 trillion bill. But who are essential workers? How much are they gonna get? How are the hours calculated? Who applies to the hazard pay? And what is the concept and calculation embedding in it? In 2020, the HEROES Act, introduced by Nancy Pelosi, detailed $10,000, $13 an hour per hour from January to the end of the pandemic, 60 days thereafter, up to $10,000 of hazard pay from everyone from Uber and Lyft drivers all the way up to grocery store workers. So will that be the same under Biden's stimulus? We'll find out. But for now, enjoy this overnight LA video explaining the concepts of 2020's hazard pay. Hazard pay heats up, but why are new studies revealed today even more suggestive of the need to pass hazard pay right away? Hey everybody, this is LLA with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update today. This one about hazard pay. That $10,000 for essential workers, that's part of the HEROES Act, which will get debated by members of Congress in late July. Big developments today about essential workers, especially as the pandemic grows. Let's get right to the news. The news today is quite shocking because there are new words out from Anthony Fauci that says, hey, essential workers are needed more than ever, and they're going to be on the front line than we ever seen before. As you know, next week is really a battleground for hazard pay, and we've been detailing that as well extensively on this channel. The reason why is because of silence. We have not heard from the Republicans what their position is about hazard pay since it was first introduced in the HEROES Fund, which is part of the HEROES Act, to the Senate, from the House, from the Democrats, to the Republicans. We just don't know. And on Monday or Tuesday, when the Republicans debut their second stimulus check, we'll find the answer. What's going on? Well, Mitch McConnell and Stevie Mnuchin have been secretly behind the closed doors, sipping their martinis and putting their feet in the jacuzzi, drafting a version of a second stimulus package. They confirmed it to news this week. They said that they will debut their second stimulus package next week on Around Monday. And in there, or not in there, will be a hazard pay bill. It's really quite problematic because if Steve Mnuchin, the Democrats, this is, well, first of all, this is the Republicans' proposal. This is the Republicans' proposal that will be produced to news and press for a road show, for basically like a dog and pony show, before it's introduced as a bill in late July. Now, what I want you to do is be very, very calm because come Monday, if you start to hear a lot of news reports that say, here's the Republican plan and there's no hazard pay bill in there. Hazard pay is dead. There's no hazard pay bill. It's gone. No, I don't want you to think that because this is not how Congress works. The way Congress works is a bill has to be passed by both the House and the Senate. You don't get a bill passed into law by just passing the Senate. That's, a how, that's not how Congress works. It's actually bylaws about that. So it has to pass both the House and Senate. Second, if they're competing bills on the books, which there will be, because you already have the HEROES Act, and now you're going to have Steve and Mitchie's bill next week, they're going to have to discuss them together. There's actually rules about discussing these bills together. Ultimately, if you have the Repo if the Democrats have a HEROES Act bill, and the Republicans potentially don't, they will discuss them. But the real thing that concerns me is we have not seen the mindset. We've seen very few comments, and i got to say, the one piece of the one party who's really, really responsible for this is broadcast news. They seem to forget that there's a hazard pay bill out there, folks. And for some reason, all they keep on asking the Republicans about is FPUC. They seem to forget about hazard pay. And so I don't have a lot of things to go on when I'm trying to figure out where is the Republicans' position on hazard pay. But next week, we'll know. So 
what's going on today? Well, Anthony Fauci basically said, hey, uh, essential workers need it more than ever. He says that the pandemic is going to get worse. We're going to need more lockdowns. We're going to need to shut down places because we're not controlling the virus. I mean, we already know that 80 percent of US, of California's uh, workers are now on back on lockdown because the COVID-19 situation has gotten so much worse. I mean, it's growing exponentially. I was recording earlier this week, as you know, because you watch me on a daily basis. And we had 5,000 cases a day here in California. Now we're at 11,000 cases. I mean, what are we going to be next week? 15,000 cases? The state has to go on lockdown. And when you go on lockdown, essential workers are even more needed and even more in harm's way. So I really do think that when you have Anthony Fauci's comments, which I'm going to get to in a second, and you have lockdowns occurring, California, Texas, these hotbeds, Florida, and you have people in, in grocery stores or pharmacies on the front line risking their lives for you, I don't think it's going to work where a Democrat or Republican says, you know what, we are not going to compensate those hazard pay, those essential workers for hazard pay. I don't think it's going to work. And you know why it doesn't work? Because the states don't believe it either. All this week we've been detailing that a lot of states have launched hazard pay bills. What I want you to remember is that when I talk about a hazard pay, when you see the title of hazard pay for this video, so this is referring to the federal hazard pay, the $10,000 check, which I'll get to in a second. There are state hazard pays. I want you to Google um, your city, state, and county where you work and see if they have a hazard pay bill. How important is this? It's so important. I mean, I can't possibly Google 50 states for hazard pay results for you. I simply can't do it. I'm, not, I'm only one person. But here's an example. I'm doing a renter's assistance video later today. And so I did that. I said, hey, did anyone else come out with renter's assistance? Because I did a video yesterday about, and I found New York has a renter's assistance program. Yes, there's one here in LA. I did not even know that there's a rent assistance program here in LA. So it's the same thing for hazard pay. If you are an essential worker and believe you qualify for hazard pay, please start looking. I can educate you about the federal one, but I can't keep you up to date about what's going on in your state and local situation, and you may be entitled to money. I detailed this week several places where they're giving $250, $500, $600. It's not $10,000, but it's hundreds of dollars to people who work as essential workers, whether you're in a private sector or public sector. So please consider that. So Anthony Fauci says the United States has been hit very severely by this. You just need to look at the numbers and see that every day the number of infections and the millions and the numbers of deaths keeps going up every day. We're still seeing an increase in hospitalizations. We need to get better control over this over time. We need to open up the country because staying shut down has an economic employment and health and other negative sec uh, consequences that are significant. But we need to get control of this. We need to get better control of things before we reopen. Apparently, some people are only hearing the second part, reopen without saying, hey, getting better control. Uh, the number of cases are just out of control. I mean, just absolutely out of control. United States yesterday, it's it, the grand total number of new COVID-19 cases, 77,200. I mean, I was, I was reporting to you 66,000 or 64,000 last week, so we're up to 77,000. What is it going to be next week, 100,000 new cases per day? It, it is just, it's going up 10,000 cases a day. It's growing that quickly. Um, John Hopkins University, 40 states and the District of Columbia all reported a seven day rise by number of cases by 5%. When you have more hospitalizations, inevitably you're going to see more deaths because people are serious enough to get hospitalized and a certain percentage of them are going to be very sick and a certain percentage of them are going to die. And that's exactly what you're seeing in certain areas. So, um, what's important to understand that you qualify for hazard pay. If you're an essential worker, I applaud you, but I really want you to stay motivated, positive and focused because you are entitled to hazard pay. How does it calculate? So it calculates up to $10,000 or up to $5,000. Where are the cutoffs? So the way the heroes act is written is the following. Pull out a pen and paper. Pretty easy, but need to know it. If you made up to $100,000 last year, then you qualify up to $10,000 for hazard pay. If you made over $100,000 last year, you qualify up to $5,000 for hazard pay. Now, every time I do this video, I realize this is another wrinkle that I never heard of before. Here's a wrinkle that just literally hit me as that fly flew in front of my face. Um, 
that way that that bill is written uh, as to what I just said refers to your work last year as a essential worker. So what happens if you weren't an essential worker last year, but this year you are an essential worker? Not clear in the bill. But it basically, I think it intends to say if you made over $100,000 as an essential worker last year, we're going to limit your hazard pay payment to 5000 But if you didn't work as an essential worker last year, we're not going to limit it at all. We're going to give you up to $10,000. So how do you calculate? You calculate the number of hours you worked full-time and part-time starting in January up to the present times $13 per hour. Include everything, overtime and, and part-time, um, full-time, any hours you worked as an essential worker. It can be at different places of essential work. It can be of different capacities of essential work. It can be different employers. It doesn't matter if you've been fired, laid off, kicked to the curb, uh, terminated, you know, hired, rehired, anything is uh, anything qualifies. Who are essential workers? I've gone through that as well. Um, I basically want you to be informed and educated that there are certain essential workers that are defined in the bill. They're very, very clearly defined, and there's some that are not clearly defined. That there are definitions in the bill that seeks to define essential workers, but then there's caveats to the bill that says, you know what, we don't want to be too limiting. I also want you to understand that the essential workers bill on a federal level is different than the essential workers definition or bills at a state level. What am I talking about? So when I talked about Louisiana's essential workers bill and I talked about Mississippi and all these other places that have essential hazard pay bills, their hazard pay defines essential workers differently. Every single city, every single county, state defines essential workers differently. So A, if your boss says you're an essential worker, it doesn't mean anything. Um, it's great, it's great spirit and it's great mindset, but you ultimately have to be defined as a central worker under this bill. Second, if your governor calls you a central worker, God bless him, but that doesn't mean anything because you have to be defined as a central worker in this bill. Last, if you think you're a central worker because you're really important, I think you're important too, but that doesn't mean you qualify for central work, sadly. Um, the gray areas I've said before are Walmart, Costco, Walgreens, CVS, um, because it does not cover general retail, but it does cover someone who works in, not near, but in a pharmacy, a grocery store, a little grocery store, defined as a grocery store. Um, and that's, that's, that's the gray area. So we will see what will happen. The person who applies for has a pay is your employer, not you. You can't apply. I hate it. You hate it. We all hate it. Hopefully it will not survive when it gets to final drafting in members of Congress. And if you're an independent contractor and work on the gig or hour on the job basis and don't have an hourly calculation, start doing the calculation because you're going to have to prove it up. Lastly, if you're self-employed and you are your own employer, how do you do this? I don't know. As I always say, if I don't know the answer, I don't know because the bill doesn't tell me. <laughs> it's not like I can't read the bell. I literally read the bell and it doesn't say there, so I don't know the answer for you. Um, if it did, I would tell you. There you go. A lot of things coming out next week, so I want you to understand that hazard pay and hazard um, concepts and essential workers have really been that ghosted comment by the Republicans throughout this pandemic from May to the present. We have not heard anything. And the question is, when we'll hear something? I think it's going to be on around next Monday. If you have questions in today's video, drop them in the comments below. A like and subscribe to this channel. Always stay positive, motivated, and inspired. Um, and please, please Google your jurisdiction for hazard pay. A lot of these things come and go. As you'll see in the rent video, which I'm doing later today, the rent money in Los Angeles, a grant money for people in Los Angeles I have never heard of. I'm here in Los Angeles. I'm sitting here in Los Angeles. I have never heard of it. It literally expires today. So a lot of these things come and go very, very quickly, and they get hundreds of thousands of applicants very quickly. Please do the work. Please be informed. And as always, give a smile and stay at LA for more.